Speaking with KMV Island manager Steve Tilson following our 2 0 defeat against AFC Hornchurch at the Prospect Stadium in the Essex Senior Cup tonight. Steve, a bit of a flat performance after Saturday's goal fest. What did you make of the match? Uh, I thought, first off, I thought we'd done well, first off. I um, thought it was really competitive, good attitude, and by far had more chances than they did. Um, but when, like I say, when you're on top, when you, you've got to take them chances. Uh, we didn't do that tonight. Second half. We've cost we've cost ourselves a game in my eyes. Um, Leon Gordon switched off for their first goal where well, they've got a cross in and the second goal. Ashley Dumas has made a poor decision and tried to play a square ball in, in a deep area and they've won it and uh, and they've scored. So you know two goals that really and truthfully we shouldn't have uh, we shouldn't have conceded. Um, outside of that, I think Ashley's only had one save to make all night. Um, but certainly didn't play as well second half as we did first half. Um, so that was disappointing, but like I say, when you're on top, you have to you have to put your chances away, otherwise you get punished. We're now out of all the cup competitions before Christmas. Um, as disappointing as this is, are you hoping this will have a positive effect on our league form? I'll be honest with you, we've got 17 players. And we've played so many games at the moment. It's you know, um, it, don't get me wrong. We wanted to win the game, but it might be a blessing in disguise because you know you can't. With the amount of games we've got and the, and the size of the squad we've got, hope, hopefully it'll be a blessing in disguise. And, and, and like I say, we can co solely concentrate on the league. Um, hopefully, don't get any injuries. You know, because I feel that you know probably 12 or 13, we've got as, as, you know as strong as anyone. But um, it's like I say, if you if you're unlucky and you pick up a few injuries, that's where we're going to struggle. You speak of the size of the squad, and obviously we released uh, Dean Mason and Ryan Egger recently. How is the hunt for replacements going, and what are you going to be? What attributes are you going to be looking for from any kind of new additions? No, I mean, listen, you have a look at wide areas tonight. Twenty-nine games between Leon and Ace, and we haven't scored a goal between them. So, you know, obviously we need to improve on that. That's for sure. Um, you know, if Louis Dennis or, or or Bradley gets injured, you've got Jay Curran. So you know we haven't got a lot of options, um, and that that's that's a concern at the moment. But like I say, out of, out of the squad we've got, and I think you know we are we are strong, probably 13 players. But outside of that, you know it's 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 not fantastic. If I'm honest, you know we we need to we need to bolster the squad up. But at the end of the day, we've you know we haven't with the within the budget we can't we haven't got. No, you know, loads of loads of room to manoeuvre. So, you know, maybe one or two to come in. Um, but like I say, we've got to try and get the right ones. Finally, on to Saturday's match here against Cray Wanderers. What reaction will you be looking for from the players? Yeah, and no, obviously you'd be looking to bounce back and get a positive result. Um, Cray are a good football inside, and you know we're have to play at high tempo and, and try and get in their face. Obviously, being at home, even more so. So. You know, if we if we if we play anywhere like we did in the in the last two games, first half, we'll be fine. But we've got to try and do that over ninety minutes rather than just forty five. Thanks, Steve. Cheers, thanks.